What's going on guys? No big trades today, so I'm actually bringing you a different kind of video. In this one, we're looking at how good a team of all 2003 draft picks would be if they played together today in the NHL. Obviously, uh, the 2003 draft is quite a while ago now, like 16 years ago or just about, but uh, the draft was so stacked that there's still a bunch of players in the NHL from that draft, and like five years ago, that team would probably be like 9-9 overall everything, but I'm going to show you guys just kind of how good that team still is today. So that draft actually took place in Nashville, so for this sim, we're actually be taking out the Nashville Predators. I'll show you guys the new team we're putting in there. Um, right here, the Nashville draft. I wanted to call it like the 2003 draft, but I guess you can't use numbers for your team name, unfortunately. So just using the NHL logo there with Nashville colors, thought that makes the most sense. Uh, as you can see at the bottom there, top players, Brent Burns, Patrice Bergeron, Marc-Andre Fleury. Uh, if you didn't know, Marc-Andre Fleury went first overall in that draft. The first round was actually insane. Like pretty much every single player picked in the first round was an everyday NHLer. I think only two guys were busts. Like one had two games played, another had 20. The rest were all like, 200 plus a lot of them are you know obviously over a thousand now tons of solid second round picks late picks as you guys are about to see so it's pretty insane i know a lot of people consider it to be the best draft of all time i think the 2015 draft might start competing you know with that title but obviously i think it's a little bit too early to tell so we're playing the central division here 94 overall team so i think that makes us the highest rated in nhl uh tied with tampa bay there so Maybe we'll see them in the Stanley Cup final. And now, guys, I'm going to show you what this team's actually looking like. Um, as you can see there, team status obviously is champion. Very high-rated team uh, stacked throughout the lineup. So, uh, as you can see there, solid first line. we got Zach Prize, Patrice Bergeron, and Joe Pavelski. Uh, second line there, you got Corey Perry, Ryan Getzlav, and Eric Stahl. Uh, Anaheim cleaned up in this draft. They got both Getzlav and Perry with late first rounders. Getzlav there, number 19. Uh, Perry, number 28. Uh, third line here, you got Louis Erickson, Jeff Carter, and Thomas Vanek. And then fourth line is Brian Boyle, David Backus, and Dustin Brown. So, again, like, if you look at these guys, a lot of them kind of hit their prime, say, five years ago. Especially guys like, you know, Vanek and Backus. Uh, definitely been, you know, going downhill here for a while. But um, still an absolutely stacked team. Again, just going to go through here real quick, showing you guys that they were all indeed uh, 2003 draft picks. So, very solid forward group. Obviously got a lot of strength there. She was able to score two. Uh, very de kind of defensively minded uh, forward group as well. Now defense is stacked. So uh, top pair there, we have Ryan Suter and Brent Burns. Second pair there is Shea Weber and Dustin Bufflin. And then bomb pairs Coborn and Seabrook. Seabrook definitely was a bit higher rated, you know, a few years ago. Uh, reuniting Weber and Suter there, just like Anaheim, Nashville cleaned up. They drafted Suter in the first round, number seven overall. Then they actually got Weber in the second round. Uh, you can see there, Bufflin was actually an eighth round pick. Uh, pretty huge steal there. Forgot to mention too, Pavelski, he was like, yeah, seventh round pick. So a lot of guys in the 2003 draft, even like the late picks, uh, were still insane. Uh, goalies, this draft was filled with tons of good goalies as well. As you can see there, our starting goalies, Marc-Andre Fleury. Back in up, we have Corey Crawford. And obviously Fleury was the first overall pick in that draft. Uh, Crawford was actually a second rounder. So a very, very solid team here. Uh, quick look there at the special teams. Obviously solid power play, four-man power play. I've actually got Suter and Weber reunited on the two penalty kills. So this team should be able to do a lot of damage. Like I said, I could see us definitely playing Tampa in the Stanley Cup final. Also actually had a bunch of extra players who didn't even make this team. That's how good this draft was. So in the AHL, we actually lost some players. There was even like five or six guys. I think because the roster was too big that didn't make it on the franchise mode teams. So Ryan Kessler here, I guess, would be like the captain of this AHL team. Uh, he's down to 79 overall. I think when the game first came out, he was an 82. So if he didn't get downgraded, he actually would have still been on the NHL team, but not too bad. Uh, you got Patrick Eves there, Eric Fair, Brodziak, MacArthur, uh, Brad Richardson, Nathan Horton here. I think he actually went fourth or fifth um, overall. He went third overall, sorry, in 2003. Obviously, he was a beast until uh, injuries got the better of him, so he's still on this team. Uh, defense, you got Tobias Enstrom. I think he's playing over in Sweden right now. Dion Phaneuf, of course. What was he at? First round pick, ninth overall. Enstrom, I believe, was late, yeah. He was another steal in that draft. As you can see there, the Atlanta Thrashers drafted him in the eighth round, so pretty nuts. Uh, Mark thought also from that 2003 draft. We actually had a few more defensemen like Kendall, uh, a couple other guys, but unfortunately, like I said, for some reason, they just didn't make it to the franchise team. Again, I think the roster was too big. And like I was saying, goalies are stacked. So our HL starter there, Jimmy Howard, I believe he was actually Detroit's first pick of the 2003 draft. Uh, he was selected in the second round, 64th overall, so the end of the second round too. And backing him up here, we have Yaroslav Halak, a ninth round pick. Like, this draft was insane. Obviously, like I mentioned before, the first round just filled with good NHL talent. But then even late picks, there was so many awesome ones. And on top of these two guys, we also have Brian Elliott as the third goalie in the HL. So that is just how good the draft was. Even Elliott there was also a ninth round pick. So kind of crazy how 
solid some of these goalies were that were picked with a late round pick. And I think that's kind of why a lot of teams nowadays don't really use a first rounder on a goalie because they know they can get a very good goalie with a late pick. It's just so hard to judge uh, the goaltender talent. So again, uh, those are the two teams. Um, this team should, like I said, do some damage. And before we start the sim, guys, I want to show you this team's ratings. As you can see there, 94 offense, actually a bit higher than I expected. 96 defense, I knew that'd be pretty high, and 93 goaltending. Um, also, you can take a look at the jerseys I made pretty quickly, and Bergeron there, of course, rocking the C, best player on this team, or I guess tied for best player with Brent Burns. Uh, the away jersey, I think, is actually a lot nicer. The home, it's kind of like yellow on yellow, so it doesn't look quite as good, but not too bad. Obviously, again, going with those national colors because the draft did take place in Nashville. So, we we'll can start here with this sim, see how good this team does. Um... I'm hoping for the best. Throughout the trade deadline, guys, and really no surprise here, we have a great record, uh, 39, 19, and 6. Like I was saying, if we did this sim, say, five years ago when a bunch of these guys were in their prime, it wouldn't even be fair. So at least now, I think they're all like 33 years old pretty much, some are 34. It's a bit more fair. Um, as you can see there, though, we still are first in the central, 84 points. The Dallas is only five behind us. Uh, Bergeron there, almost a point per game. He's got 59 and 64. So hopefully we can keep it up here, be that first seed entering the playoffs, and then hopefully uh, go on a bit of a Stanley Cup run. And we're now at the end of the regular season here, guys. As you can see, finished a record of 51, 25, and 6. I was hoping we put up 50 wins, so that's awesome. Uh, what is that, 108 points, I think. AHL team also is killing it, uh, 48, 19, and 6. I mean, they have like an NHL starting goaltender as their starter, so they should be doing well. We actually didn't win the division, that's insane. Dallas beat us by a point. Bergeron, though, 78 points, 82 games. Uh, great season for him. We'll see how everyone else did. I have a feeling like it's going to be probably spread out a good amount as we do have like you know, a lot of depth on this team. Brent Burns, 74 points. Oh my. I think there's a good chance he wins the Norris this time. Uh, Pavelski, Perry both have 60. Same with Getzlav. Uh, Stahl, 54. Bufflin, 42 is not bad. Carter, 39. Parise, 39. He's on that first line with Bergeron Pavelski. Probably should have done better than that, but uh, what are you going to do? Brown, Erickson all around 30. Uh, Vanek 23 playing third line. Honestly though, I was hoping he would have done a little bit better. I'll check goalies now here and see what Flurry's stats were like. So 64 games played, 37, 22, and 5, 7 shutouts. He's got 0.922 with a 2.13 goals against. Corey Crawford stats were actually even better. At least his win loss, 14 and 3 is kind of insane. They must have given him like the easier matchups, I'm guessing, as it seems like the backups all the time have a better record, but not always better stats, as you can see. Uh, slightly lower save percentage and a bit worse uh, goals against. We'll take a look at the NHL goalies we had in the AHL as well. Yeah, Jimmy Howard's killing it. 0.939, 9 shutouts, a 1.6 goals against. Uh, Halak's record's not the greatest, but his stats are. I mean, a 0.92, a 2 goals against. Uh, we'll check here and see if any like the 2003 guys are going off. Tolvanen's actually leading scorer. Eves, though, 55. Kessler almost has 50 in the AHL. Same with Fair, MacArthur. So that's kind of cool to see. Obviously, if we could win the Stanley Cup and Calder Cup, with a couple 2003 teams, that'd be pretty awesome. Uh, we'll see here who the leading scorers were in the entire league. Jack Eichel put up 90. Uh, so Bergeron, that's the Boston one with 82. Ours had 78, I think, so we were close. Is there a way to check? Yeah, I want to see if our Brent Burns led the league in our defenseman sorry, in scoring. Ekman Larson, 75. Brent Burns, 74. One behind, but Ekman Larson's a minus 8. Brent Burns is a plus 35. That's pretty ridiculous, so... I think there's still a chance he wins the North. Also, guys, want to take a look at the standings here before we get started with the Sim. Like I said, I can't believe we uh, didn't win the Central. That's unreal. Uh, Columbus, 114 points. Man, and that's without Matthew Shane. I haven't, like, put that trade through yet. Um, and then we finished third there in the entire NHL. So Central Division is just insane. Um, hopefully, like, a team that's playing Dallas can take them out for us. Um, I don't know who our first round matchup's going to be, but... It would really be a shame this team doesn't even make it to at least like Western Conference Finals. And our first round matchup here is the Winnipeg Jets. Um, they're usually the best team in the West when it comes to the Sims. So uh, this is going to be interesting to say the least. Hopefully we can get by them here. So first two games are at home and we win, or sorry, we lose both games at home. Uh, so that's not a good start. Next two games though in Winnipeg, maybe we can do something. We win it, or the, first, the third game, sorry. Fourth game, then we lose an OT, so we have to win these next three uh, to make it out of the first round. This is going to be insane. Look at that. So even though this 2003 draft team is stacked, first round exit to the Winnipeg Jets. And our AHL team, I think also, or no, sorry, there's two games left, but they're down the series uh, to Manitoba Moose, who's Winnipeg's AHL team. This is going to be insane if we don't get by them. We do get by them. That was way too close. This AHL team, like, it shouldn't even be close. They should be destroying everybody. And now, assuming the second round, guys, the AHL playoffs, we actually won the first two games. Uh, so it actually looks like we swept uh, San Antonio Rampage there. 
Uh, next up here we have the Tucson Roadrunners. I feel like maybe we get another sweep. The fact that Manitoba was our first round matchup, they're usually one of the better AHL teams. Just kind of unlucky. And yeah, we're just we're just rolling through here. Back to back sweeps. Uh, we'll see we play in the car. Sorry, Calder Cup final. It's gonna say conference final. Uh, so Wilkes Bear Scranton Penguins. Obviously the Penguins AHL team. Can we win the Calder Cup? Uh, so it's a 3-1 lead. We've got three games left. I think the 2003 AHL team should be able to find us a championship, and they do. They win it in five. Minnesota Wild, they're actually the Stanley Cup champion. Again, I was just there, so maybe some good luck for them. I can't believe, though, the NHL team first round exits for the Winnipeg Jets. Like, that's just unreal. And check this out, guys. The draft results are in. LA Kings there at the first overall pick, getting Jack Hughes. Um, there's a really good chance they actually do get Jack Hughes in real life, so uh, that would be kind of crazy. Jason Chimera, a member of the Detroit Red Wings, just became a scout. That's kind of weird. So I'll take a look now at all, all the awards. Corey Perry there, our leading scorer in the playoffs. Five points, five games. That's honestly not too bad. Um, I don't know what happened to us, though. Like, we should have been... I thought we were Stanley Cup bound and maybe we lose to Tampa in the Stanley Cup final. Suter there was our second leading scorer. Four points. Eric Stahl. I forgot to mention, too, Minnesota won the Cup. Lots of, like, Minnesota players are players with connections to Minnesota. You got Suter, Stahl. Uh, Vanek played for uh, the Minnesota Gophers, which is the college team. Let's take a look here at Fleury. Like, did he not play well? 0.908's definitely not the best, um, so that might have been like, you know, that flurry that was bad in the playoffs a few years ago, I don't know. Um, playoff tree here, so Minnesota beat the Ducks in 5, Flames in 6, Jets in 6, and the Blue Jackets there in 7. Alright, so, I don't know, unfortunate I guess, it happens sometimes to the Sim. Hopefully we got at least, you know, an award or two, obviously no team awards there. Actually, look at that, all Minnesota and Columbus, um, so player award, Jack Eichel obviously got that Art Ross. Um, he also got the heart. Brent Burns, there we go. Dig the James Norris. I was hoping we got at least one award, and he was definitely, you know, our best shot at it, so that's cool to see. Jeff Skinner with the Lady Bing. Uh, Peterson, of course, with the Calder. Dubnik, Con Smythe. Uh, Gibson with the Vesna. Hellebeck, though, got the William M. Jennings. Uh, Bogosian, Bill Masterson. Buffalo's cleaning up these awards. Bergeron with the Selkie. It's our Bergeron, too, not the Boston one, so he must have had a better plus minus or something. I don't know. Face offs won. Uh, Eichel also got the Ted Lindsay. And then Tavares there, Mauricio Shard. Now also check the AHL awards as we actually won the Calder Cup, which is pretty awesome. Uh, we also won the regular season. I totally forgot to check the standings for regular season. We'll have to do that, kind of see how much of a lead we had. And then of course we won the Western Conference, our division. Uh, the AHL team cleaned up as they should have. Nylander though had the most points in the AHL. We didn't really have a high score, like 12 and yeah, was our highest. He did get MVP though, even though Nylander outscored him. So it's kind of interesting, I guess. Happy for him, obviously. Wallstrom, most goals, pretty much always has most goals. Uh, Kovinen, obviously, got the most outstanding rookie. Uh, Jarebeck there, best defenseman. I'm surprised Enstrom or Phaneuf couldn't win that. Um, Howard, obviously, best goalie. His stats were unreal. Um, he also got MVP of the playoffs. Nylander there, sportsmanship. Taze got uh, community involvement. And then Jimmy Howard also got lowest goals again. So, I don't know. The NHL team just had a bad bounce, I guess. AHL team, even without like five or six of those guys, like I was saying, that just for some reason didn't get put in the franchise, still won it. Uh, Patrick Eves there, 15 points in 18 games, so uh, he was definitely, you know, doing his part. I want to see, too, just how much of a lead this AHL team had. So 106 points, and next, actually, the Devils, 102. So um, only won the season there by four points, but that's going to be it, guys, for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, I was definitely hoping for a better result, or expecting a better result, I should say. Uh, and just Winnipeg Jets there absolutely upset us, I guess, in the first round. But what are you going to do? If you guys want to see more videos like this, leave that thumbs up. Also, let me know in the comments section uh, if you have any ideas for these kind of videos. Besides that, guys, thank you as always for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.